so bull's rule we are going to find out the numerical integration that means the definite integral of the given question so here in this also we are having restriction which is basically n value should be taken as 4 multiple 4 8 12 and so on if they are given in the question like this in this question it is given 4 as the interval if they are not mentioned you can take it as 8 12 anything is fine but it is better be, better to take 4 as the interval because the calculations will be less and the formula is most important thing the formula you have to remember the definite integral of the given question i is equal to 2h by 45 into y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 you write off then 7 32 12 32 7 32 like that the trick is basically 7 32 12 32 7 32 12 32 so on like that this pattern you can remember okay this is how you can remember or you can uh, find your own way to remember the this thing formula now we have to compare with the standard equation that is basically a to b y dx where y is nothing but the function of x so in this given question you can see the function of x is basically what 1 by 1 plus x square so function of x is 1 by 1 plus x square and a value and b value you can see a is the lower limit b is the upper limit a and b also we know we have to first find what the h value also so let us find the h value so h value is given by b minus a by n where b is the upper limit which is 12 a is the lower limit which is equal to 0 divided by the n value which is 4 so answer will be 3 so the h value will be 3 okay the width now we have to form the table so you can form the table column wise or row wise so i have taken two column wise okay so you can take two row wise also that is also fine so here first column is basically x value second column is y value y value is basically the uh, f of x which is a function of x and it in, in the given question it is given as 1 by 1 plus x square we have already seen now first thing we have to form the x column x column in order to form the x column the first value will be the lower limit the last value will be the upper limit but the thing is that how to proceed the question was basically integral of what uh, 0 till uh, 2 or 12 and the question was 1 by 1 plus x square dx okay so the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is 12 so 0 to 12 we have to go by taking what h value h value is important h value we got it as 3 so that means from lower limit you have to start okay so lower limit next value just add 3 which is nothing but the h value then next value add 3 next value add 3 keep on adding 3 till you arrive at the upper limit so you have to start from the lower limit and you have to take the step of what the width which is called as h okay so that you take you will arrive at the uh, upper limit so you can see the how many number of intervals are there one two three four intervals as said in the question also n should be equal to four it is four and how many points are there one two three four five points are there so the thing is that if you add to one to the interval you will get the points right and points are also called as what ordinates in the numerical integration of okay? the ordinates and five ordinates are there if you subtract one you will get what the interval which is four that is also the other way of that now here we have to form the second column which is nothing but the y so here you have to just substitute the corresponding value of x in the given question so function so x in place of x is substitute zero three you substitute here six substitute here and keep on substituting so you will get corresponding values the first value what you are getting corresponding to 0 which will be name it as we notation will be y0 second value y1 y2 y3 y4 so last value is y4 so y5 i cannot consider because y4 is the last value corresponding to the upper limit upper limit corresponding value will be the last value which is y4 so now we have to substitute all these values in the formula now substitute all the values so i is equal to definite integral 2 into h value is 3 into 45 into 7 into y naught so we are getting the y value i value as how much 1.46174 and uh, we have considered here how many decimal places after this one see if they mention in the question that up to up to five decimal places then you can take five values if they mention four decimal places take four values if they have not mentioned you can at least take four decimal places at least take four okay 
so that will give you more accurate or more nearer value to the actual value this is not the actual value we are getting we are getting the approximate value using this all these methods it will be med, uh, maybe Weddell's rule trapezoidal simpson one third three eight or the last one this one that is bull's rule now i value we got actual value of i is basically actual value we'll see using the calculator it is equal to 1.48765 this is the actual value so we can see there is a slight difference between this actual value and the the value which we got using rule 